no. I know we both went. You first? You <laughs> first? No. Hi, everybody. We are back. Fat TV with Delany and KT. And we're actually back in our WeHo, um, we are. the public access yes. station. And we are so super excited to be back here. I feel like we haven't been here in a while. I know. Well, we've yeah. been doing She's Too Fat. And yes. I hope everybody has watched it. If you haven't, Stay tuned for the next two episodes that we're going to be doing because mm -hmm. we're going to be running three and three, and yes. we're going to have special guests, commentary, um, co-director, yes. co-producer, co yeah. writing consultant with writing you, consultant. Yes. Matt, 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 Matt. He's going to be our next guest, yes. and um, we get to go through the whole show. Because I heard through the grapevine, even though we were putting up an episode every week of She's Too Fat, a lot of people are like, "But I want to binge watch, though." You know, right. the bin binge watching is where it's at. Yeah, so, so we're going to um, do that. We're going to yeah. make the special episodes for you too. Um, I know you guys, uh, if you haven't watched too, we've been doing behind the scenes vlogs or after show vlogs, yes. is what you call them. Yes. So check those out too on Fat TV World. Yeah, those we, are really good vlogs. We yeah. have great people from cast and crew, uh -huh. and it just they're so entertaining. And yeah. we want to give a shout out to the Glow Women for yes. helping promote She's Too Fat. Can you believe that? I know. Okay, you guys. So, you know, a lot of people obviously have been watching the show on Netflix, Glow. Mm -hmm. We actually have the original gorgeous ladies of wrestling. For from like the the OG, yeah, we they are sharing our show and yes. they love our show yes. and we are so grateful. And I talked to one of them. And I told her on Facebook, I was like, I th Roxy, right? Yeah, her name. Uh -huh. I was like, you got to be on our show. I know. So, I saw that you texted her that, uh -huh. and um, that was yesterday, right? I think so. But I was like, we can't ask her for tomorrow, can we? <laughs> oh, yeah, like, no, but we have minute. January coming up. Yes, we have yes, a yes, lot yes. of cool places, and we're gonna br definitely bring those ladies on because I am so excited. I am because too. I used to watch that. Okay, I have no. I I watch Glow and don't judge uh, Kids Incorporated. I remember Kids Incorporated. Yes, Kids do you remember Three Two One Contact? Go. Okay, I think we're aging ourselves. I know. We? I was like, wait, I've only heard about that. Uh, yeah, I don't know about that. <laughs> like, like, so, well, no, I yeah. used to watch Sesame Street. Uh -huh. you know, anything that was on PBS, I was allowed to watch. And Mr. Rogers' Neighborhood, which I'm quite Rogers. excited. Quite excited. Did I say that right? She's excited quite. Yes. That uh, Tom Hanks <laughs> is going to be coming out with the new Mr. Rogers. I know that. It's such a good uh, trailer. Have you yeah. seen the trailer? Uh -huh. Yeah. No, I'm excited about that too. Yeah. Well, we have a millennial version of Mr. Rogers' Neighborhood, by the what way. Is that? Okay. So it's Blues a guy. Blues? No. Oh. No. It's a guy <laughs> named Christopher, and he does this thing called Special Books by Special Kids. Uh -huh. And I would I would love oh, for I everyone to check him out because he is like an angel. He's a pure heart angel on earth. Mm -hmm. And he interviews people with uh, special abilities and different things going on just so other people can learn to understand them better, not be so scared of them. And we need to, like, get stigma off of people with special needs. And, you know, And every interview is so amazing. But he reminds me of a modern-day Mr. Rogers. Really? He's, yes. Oh. And he just did this amazing crowdfunding. And it's a, bo a little boy named Zaid. And uh, Zaid, when he was a toddler, he, uh, I don't know the, all the backstory, but basically his best his bed caught on fire and he oh, I suffered saw, yes, yes. insane amounts of burns. So Christopher interviewed mm -hmm. him. He's like, what do you want? He's always like, well, what do you want in life? Right? And he just wants friends. He's like, I want y'all to know you don't have to be scared of me. And right. it's just like, so Aww. I, like I, he did a crowdfunding. I donated, you guys, in 90 minutes, his goal was- He got 90,000, didn't he? No, his goal was uh, 50 grand. Uh -huh. um, in 90 minutes, he got like 65 grand. Okay. But at two, two, right now, four days later, he's already up to $265,000 nice. in counting. So yeah. It gets, and see, that's like, where you give your money to somebody like that. Yes. Yes, yes, exactly. But like just changing the world. And also I just love like just learning more about these people and mm -hmm. how they feel. And everybody at the end of the day just wants friends, you right. know? So don't, don't. Will you be my friend? Girl, <laughs> you know what? I thought we were friends. I don't know. We're my, we play just, friends. It's like the view. There's some like, secret stuff going on in the back. I'm just kidding. Oh my gosh. <laughs> no. I always thought like I, when I grew up, I always thought everybody got along. And then whenever I got oh, I older and realized that they yeah. hated each other. No. Oh, we are good. Yeah. I can't. I can't sing enough off key about how <laughs> awesome we get along, like behind the scenes. Right. It, like I just love. Yeah, right. we're good. We're friends. And we're like we're, we're like yin and yang Yay. because what I can't do, she does, and what she can't do, I do. Or what I won't do, yeah. she does. But <laughs> anyway, <laughs> I think it's time that we need to bring on our guests for this uh, week. Yes. Do you want to introduce her I and sure then do. introduce the beautiful clip that we're going to be showing everybody? Oh, you mean we're going right into that? Yes. Oh, I I thought... show... No, we're going to we're going to put I want everybody to see her before they actually meet her. All righty. Okay. I am thrilled to tell you about our wonderful guest today. Her name is Trina Dong and she is like a quadruple threat, probably mm -hmm. even more than that. One, two, three. Okay. Anyway, writer, actress, comedian, uh director, 
No. Okay, fine. Producer. <laughs> yeah. Producer. And badass. That's number five. Okay. <laughs> yeah, she's awesome. And I had the pleasure to personally meet her through my Fatch sketch comedy group. Okay. She's a credible writer. Her, uh, we just performed her uh, sketch like a week or two ago at Plus Bus Boutique. It was the hit of the night. People loved it, and so I just was like, we got to get Trina on here. Okay. So, um, and now we're gonna introduce her short. Yes. Oh my God, I already forgot the name. I'm like, I can't. It's called name. Stand Out. Stand Out. Ha. Ha. So here we go. Well, let's go. And to stand out. She. Uh, produced, produced, wrote, wrote co-wrote, and starred. Yes. yes. So here it is. Check it out. Blair Waters. This is fun, right? Hi, comedy folks. Ready to laugh? Ready to not laugh? Do you like light blue? Fam? Family? We're family now? Let's have some laughs tonight in this very orange smock. Should be a doozy of time. I can find something to wear. That was awesome. Uh, that was funny. That, that was, was funny. Was that your closet? No, but it was a closet. Okay. That was real. Because okay. I wondered. Yes. I was yeah. like, those are cool clothes. Yeah, that happened. The, okay. They were a mix of all of our clothes, I think. One of those things. Okay. Last shot of the day. Yeah. I think. Ooh. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. the martini shot. The Yeah, the last one. Like, Got let's it. make it easy in the closet. You okay, know well, yeah. well done. Yeah, thank you. Trina Tong, everybody. Yay. 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 Well, we'll go back to that in a moment. Yeah. Tell us about yourself. After whatever, <laughs> including what I just said, you well, can go I was for born, it. Uh, my name's Trina. <laughs> I was born in Wisconsin. That's a fun fact. I did a stint in New York City for a while. Now I'm here in Los Angeles. Um, I'm an actor, yeah. writer, comedian, all sorts of stuff. She's and a working, working writer, yeah. working actress, right? You, yeah. Yeah, enough. It's important to add. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> things things, things yeah. move. Yes. Things are moving, so we're happy. Good. I'm what is your favorite? You. What, do, what do you really want to do? Do you want to be uh, just an actress, just a producer? Or? I Not just, but acting right. is always number one. Yes. Uh -huh. um, but if I could, you know, we have to write for ourselves, right? That yes. becomes right. something. Or, you know, I also do it to fill time between mm -hmm. other things. Right. But acting's first, writing second, love producing. I'm good at it, but stresses me out. So, right. you right. know what I mean? If I could hand that off, would love to, but we'll probably end up totally. continuing to do it. Yeah. Well, I think a lot of actresses nowadays, especially in Hollywood, I was just talking about this with somebody. Mm -hmm. Like, I was watching something on uh, Reese Witherspoon, how mm. she was like, you know, when she went through that whole thing with getting divorced and then nobody wanted to, she had two kids and sure. nobody wanted to t put her in anything and they wanted to typecast her and all that, and blah, yeah. blah, blah. She started producing her own stuff. Yeah. And you know, she's the one that changed how um, the girl from Legally Blonde, what's the, the character's name from Legally Blonde? Um, to, L, L. Yeah, to Woods. make her L a little Woods, bit, yeah. instead of just a ditzy blonde, mm -hmm. yeah. she has more character. Totally. Sure, yeah. yeah. And then somebody told her, hey, why don't you just start, you read all the time, why don't you just start buying, you know, buying, optioning things. Mm -hmm. And now look at it, she's giving a lot of women sure. in this yes. industry. Absolutely. You know? I think, too, I'm not sure I can let go of certain scripts either, so I say it now that I don't want to produce anything. I'm mm -hmm. going to produce all the totally. movies that I write. Yeah. It's just going to be, it's. Push very those to producing home. points. Yeah, yes. you know, be a part of you it. make your money. Yeah. Well, and it's funny because the more <laughs> I have produced, uh, I've only been a producer for maybe I think five or six years mm -hmm. now. And I remember in the beginning, I was like, Mwah, producing. Yeah. Uh, but the more I produce, like now in even real life, I'm yep. producing my real life, and I'm exactly. like, oh, this is so helpful. Right. There like you go. everything's about like, everything is producing. Yeah. You know, absolutely. If you think about it that way, for so, sure. And then it is less stressful once you get back right. on set because you're like, exactly. oh, I got this. Yeah. It's okay. Yeah. Life is harder. Life oh, is life harder. Is harder. Yeah. <laughs> Managing I mean, life. Yeah. Oh my yeah. gosh. Well, you're also a great writer. Oh, that, thank you. We did this great sketch. I wish you could have seen it. You uh, will. See, we'll do it again. Okay. It cool. ain't over. I didn't get to go this time. I didn't get to go. Yeah. But she did a great sketch. It was called She's in the Club. I like to say she's in the club. She's in, definitely in the club. In the club. For sure. okay. She's yeah. not just in the club. Yeah. And it was an ensemble piece. And she, um, she got, she serendipitously, she was kind of like, we did a read through and she's like, Delany. And she kind of nominated me to be the nerd girl, like a, a female Stur Steve uh, Urkel. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. But then Steve because Urkel? I read it in the way that she liked it, she let me have the role. So I got to be a nerd. Oh. She was perfect. It was yeah. great. Watching <laughs> it, I couldn't be there either. But right. I watched it via Instagram and I was so happy that someone filled it. Oh, so you it. wrote, but you weren't in it. No, yeah. No, oh, I've had to, I haven't been able to take a part yet. But oh. being able to see everybody laughing, you guys doing such a great job. It was so fun. But that's that's what it's about. So Trina and I did meet in an interesting way because she, she she came through Fatch, mm -hmm. uh -huh. and then somehow our 
mutual friend Colleen, yeah. I think it was through Instagram, yes. was like, hey, I have a friend named Trina. <laughs> and I, said, I saw the email through or, uh, through Fatch Sketch Comedy uh -huh. that I saw. And she goes, she's my friend and she's really great. And I told um, her you were awesome. And it was so cool because we had, we it's underground restaurant, yeah. restaurant peeps looking out for each uh, other. Because yeah. Colleen used to work at my restaurant and now she works at Trina's restaurant. Yeah. And, and these are the thrival gig things that we do, which good for Trina. She's like, you don't really have that many more days you work during weekends, the week. Weekends, weekends. Just weekends at yeah. a restaurant. Right. And, uh, but it was so cool that I was like, oh, I, we got to have Trina. If Colleen already put her stamp on her. Oh. Yes. So, cause we so speaking of yeah. which, because I have never met Trina. Oh, here you go. Yeah, you yes. should probably talk to her. Please. So <laughs> what is your claim to fame? What can, what is people seeing of you? What, what, what is like your best well, thing you move forward? Well, I just shot Homeland. Ooh. Ooh. I have a, a, co a co star, one liner in Homeland, but it's like the greatest opportunity that I've ever had. It was awesome. Claire Danes is awesome. Nice. It's going to be really I've fun when amazing. it comes out. Still haven't seen Homeland, but I've heard the best things about it. It's amazing. Okay. It's incredible. And yeah. she, just even watching her, you're like, wow. Yeah. You're nice. it. It's been on yeah. quite a long time, huh? Eight seasons. What was, what was Claire Danes It's the in? final season. She what was in was My So-Called Life. Thank it's you. my favorite. Thank you. Yes. Thank you. Oh my gosh, it's my favorite, favorite show mm -hmm. of all time, I think. Oh yeah, okay. yeah. yeah. Sadly, it, one season. Ahead of its time. Yeah, way right? Was there really way one ahead of, only, only one, one season? It's, and people still know of it, it was only one season. That's crazy. Well, because you know, they put, it's on Hulu now. Yeah. Uh, and you yeah. do, people have watched it over and over now Yeah. I just can't believe, and I remember back then, but it's crazy that that was only one season, but how it affected affected our pop culture, how it affected Correct. just even us. Like, well, they you, touched every they things that we're still talking about and we're yes. still working through. Mm -hmm. that, I think it was like 93, uh -huh. 94. Wow, that was long ago. I, when I was born. <laughs> um, <laughs> Me too. Me too. Um, I was doing backwards. <laughs> Isn't it nice? Um, but yeah, so they're still, we're still talking about these things mm. in society that yes. they were st struggling with then. You're like, come on guys, let's, but it's still, I recommend it to young people to watch it. Like, totally. It's a classic and it's perfect still. Yes. Well, Wait, I think were... it's cool that what Hulu and Netflix and everything are doing where they're buying, not only are they bringing back like Hulu, Golden Girls is on. Yeah. Designing Women is on. Yes. I'm waiting for like, I need Sister, Sister. Yes. Where's uh -huh. that? Yes. Yes. I need sister. Smart Guy. Mm -hmm. I need Family Matters. Yes. Like the Steve Urkel thing. Yes. All that stuff. I want that stuff. And I want reboots. Right. I do too. Yeah. I them all. Yeah. Uh -huh. I do too. That <laughs> I don't know if I, I'm, I'm kind of like, I'd rather not see a reboot. I'd rather see something more original come through. Yeah, that's true. You know, but I was one happy or, one when, or the other. you know, yeah. when they did Will and Grace because yeah. it was timely and they needed to come back. Yeah. You sure. know what I mean? Absolutely. And there's there's actually a couple other shows that I do think Family Matters needs to come back. Yeah. You know, things like that. I that like were it really when good. they pick up from where, like, are when they left off. It's or, the or, same or, cast. Right. Now. Like, I don't want to have a whole new cast where they are being right. the right. same exact characters. Yeah. I want the same characters. Same. Like, I feel like there was a rumor a long time ago that we were get another Goonies at some point. But no, I would don't wanna, do it. But don't I would want to see like Sean Austin as the dad. Right, and then yeah. like, you know what I mean? Like I want to see them. Which all. he was really good in Stranger Things. He oh, was. there you go. Yes. 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 I'm so Stranger happy they yes, brought him in Stranger I did. Things. Yes. yes. Yeah. yeah. Well, so what, um, okay, go back to Homeland. This is too cool for okay, school. Exactly. Yeah. So you had an audition for it. Yeah, okay. I, I actually got um, cast off a self-tape on that one. Stop it. Yeah. Those are the best. It was the best. It was the best day. It was just one of those things where you're like, you work so hard. Yeah. And then when you get that thing that's that you can actually tell your mom and maybe she knows about it. Oh. <laughs> like, oh my maybe God. I mean that. she knows what it is. She didn't. <laughs> but... You know, something that she could Google real fast. Yeah, you know, just no, those moments are important. Difference. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, your mom. Okay, so you're, is she still in Wisconsin? Or? Yeah. Okay, so your mom's in Wisconsin. Yeah. At least she has internet. My mama does not have internet. So, um, oh, and she's in North Carolina. My mom's a social she media queen. She doesn't even watch Got us. It. Yeah, she, she does doesn't. Oh no! Us. What Trina just touched upon is what I go through yeah. every day in my life because I'm like, Mama, we have a vlog. We do this public access TV. Yeah. We have a great successful series with yeah. she's too fat. And my mommy's kind of like, but Lifetime, but Hallmark. Yeah. And I'm like, until I get on there. Lifetime and Hallmark. She <laughs> Please bring me and Delaney on. We will do Fat TV Talk Show on Lifetime or Hallmark. 
Hallmark. Hallmark. Hallmark. Because Mama Peace won't Peace watch. Oh, she won't watch anything This else. is what she, it's her standard. I get She's that, like, though. It's yes. hard. It's hard. My mom does it because she, we just, like, got her started at the beginning of it. Mm -hmm. And now she she's chilling. She's My chilling. mom's Amazing always now. on. Yeah. She's, she goes and talks to Delany on she Facebook does. more she, than she talks to me. She does. She was on my IMDb yesterday. She's like, Trini, your IMDb is wrong. Oh, and I was like, wow. tell me, <laughs> tell me, Tara, what's it about? What's happening? <laughs> and she's like, it says you shot Homeland in 2011. I was like, mom, you don't know how it works, so why are we oh, right? Oh, because, because it started in Because it started, thank you. Oh, and then uh, my episode's not until literally May. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If I don't get cut. Yeah. Right. You <laughs> so won't get cut. We don't know. No, right. your but line is the line. It, it might be the, the line. Show. I'm all putting time. it out there right of now. Of all time, it's, the, it's, it's like the putting plot, it out in the universe. It's around yeah. the plot point of yeah. like we. Ha it has to. They don't have. They have to keep you. Yeah, well, they will go. keep you. There we go. Oh, Let exactly. me. I need to know about this gorgeous necklace. Oh yeah, <laughs> I'm obsessed. I'm Look sorry. Sorry, sound. I touched it. Um, <laughs> Rachel Mulheron. Uh, oh. My best friend, she mm -hmm. is a jewelry designer. She still does everything by hand mm -hmm. to this day. Started with like beads and stuff all over her floor. Still does it, but is now like really, really killing it. And I've been blessed because I, I get right. stuff sometimes. Rachel, nice. listen, Ra Rachel, we have not yeah, seen exactly. a necklace like this in Los Angeles. <laughs> and if you and notice, like, I wear a lot of necklaces. Yes. Um, if you want to bring a let us <laughs> put one on while we're in the vlogs or we're doing the yes. TV show, we'll be happy to. Uh, and this Plug you every necklace, time. <laughs> Rachel, which Trina's going to now introduce you to the Good Vibes Cookie <laughs> yes, Company. The cookie thing. Oh. The cookie looks exactly like the necklace. <laughs> and so we have to get them to meet. Yeah. Well, so well what is the Good Vibe Because they've been like in the background. They've been talking about these freaking cookies while me, we've been setting up. We have been talking about, about it for more than half an hour. I know. Because I love cookies. And that looks just like they the look cookie. like stones. They make this Good Vibe a Cookie Company incredible and just so unique. They make their cookies look exactly like what Trina's necklace looks like right here where you're even saying am I gonna bite into this and break my teeth <laughs> like is this an actual mm. cookie it, yeah. lo it looks like a rock and it's the best cookie I've ever had so um we got to introduce are your they friends gluten free are they sugar free um, are they just good? it's I don't care free like I, do <laughs> I, don't, care. I, I, just, I don't understand the gluten sugar free <laughs> stuff on sweets because yeah. it's like well, you know, I mean, people, well, some people, people have an allergy. It. Well, I understand gluten free because I have <laughs> tried allergies. gluten free, you know. Yeah. yeah. But like sugar free, why? Then don't, it's not a called a cookie, it's a cracker. Oh, <laughs> no, because they just use different sugars. So right. It's like Splenda. I do, yeah. I do like, um, I use, uh, what do I use in my stuff? Not Splenda. Stevia? Stevia. Stevia, mm -hmm. okay. So that I, I get, you yeah. know, because, yeah. and I use it, and, I, and I've and i actually eaten stuff with it, but mm -hmm. whenever, I can always taste sugar free. Oh, yeah. Oh, 100%. Know? It's like Diet Coke. Yeah. 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 It's Diet Coke. And then oh, yeah. when somebody tells me, oh, you should drink Diet Coke, Diet Coke, let me tell yeah. you, Diet Coke is just <laughs> as bad as any it Coke. Is. It is. Don't drink Coke Maybe at worse. all. Maybe worse. <laughs> Maybe worse. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. No, totally. Yeah. Well, Trina, what is, okay, so uh, congratulations on the Homeland. Thank you. And then, like, what's your favorite TV show that you would like to be cast on? Ah! Uh, should I talk about one I have, like, an audition for? Yeah. Like, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. I don't have any of those. Um, she will. Yes. I want, like, those things to come back. I would want to be on, like, the, like a sister, sister type show. Show. Like, I love that 90s, like, pure comedy, good Same. stuff. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Like, real, like, family sitcoms. I mm -hmm. love that. Like, I want to be on Living another... Living Single. That's the one oh my I gosh. would like oh, to yeah, see come back. That's so good. Yes. That theme song? I, I just like, remember that. I'd like them to do Mad Fat Diary again, because that's <gasps> one of my most favorite... Yes. I yes. follow all of them I do. on Instagram. Aww. I do, too. Yes. I know. With all of them. Yeah. I love yeah. that. Well, what's her name? I can't believe I just said what's her name. She's a great... From the thing... From Killing the Eve. She's on Killing She's Eve. She's killing uh, Comer. Yes. Jody Comer. Yes. 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 She's she excellent. just won. Did she, she just won the Emmy, didn't she? Oh, I don't know. I don't know. I just know she's amazing, so it makes she sense. She just won the Emmy for Killing Eve. Oh. Well, oh, she did? Oh, yeah. she's very young. Well, she was in Love Mad Fat Diary. Yeah. And she so was so funny. Because Sandra yeah. Oh won the Golden Globe, and she, she's the villain, right? Jodi is, right? I've never seen Killing Eve. Okay, you've got to watch Killing Eve. It's what? The, Trina, the first, se the the first the season was written by the, the lady I know, and I'm supposed to watch it too, because guys. Sandra Oh's in it, right? Yes. yes. I know, Trina. I'm a bad, I'm a bad, all the things. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, it is it is one of the best things I've ever seen. I love After it. After you leave us, I go will home. only watch Killing You. I'm not even kidding. I right. swear. Okay, we're gonna check test on me. Check on me. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> well, before I'm gonna, you at least have to. It's on Hulu for free. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Well, oh. Did you yeah. do Hulu? Yeah. Oh. Only season Killing one. Eve. Season two isn't there yet. Everything you're watching right now, put it aside. Well, I can only watch it's season be Killing one. Eve. Yeah. yeah. Um, let me ask you real quickly, yeah. especially if we still have a little bit of time. Okay. I ask yeah. all my actresses who come on. So, what have you experienced? when you go in 
women, yeah. uh, like uh, as far as being a plus size actress. Sure. Tell me what's going on because uh, everybody has different experiences. I don't have bad ones. Oh, okay. I don't, I mean, I end up going in for things. Of course, we have those things that are very much like plus size, best friend, sassy, overweight. All la, those la, tropes. La, 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 la. Yeah. I don't mind. Mm -hmm. Let's do it. Let's kill it. Let's try to get it. Okay. And then let's change, you know, whatever once we do. But most of the things I go in for are not that. So They're when just, you go in, you're not getting like a degrading line about no, yourself. Okay, no, yeah. I'm really not. Um, the leading roles I am. Like if I get a leading role in a pilot, it's those. But if it's the co-stars and guest stars, not. Yeah. Okay, that's good. Yeah. Okay. So we still have work to do with the leading. Yeah. But so far with the other ones there. Exactly. We're okay. okay. Okay, good to know. So I I feel like I'm still the only one who's had the worst experiences ever. That's why I made She's Too Fat. Because yeah. these are based on my, like, I, but we have a lot of plus size actresses come yeah. on who tell us, no, it's been good. And I'm so happy for y'all. But now yeah. I'm sitting here like, I'm I a target. I think a lot of <laughs> like, it is. <laughs> she got a big target on yeah. her. Back. Yeah. If you're lucky enough to go into certain casting offices, mm -hmm. yeah. I think if you're, like, I'm very, I have a really amazing manager. I go into, you know, stuff where it's like, they're probably not going to, they're like, substantial places where you're not going to get messed with. Things aren't going to happen. Yeah. I've had some like weird touchy stuff with mm -hmm. people trying to like move you around and like make sure your angles and your hair is like, you know, and like that type of stuff. Right. But I think that's everybody, mm -hmm. whether you're 100 pounds or 300 pounds, oh, yeah, I think across that the board. no matter what, everybody's getting fidgeted with. Right. And that's just something that we deal with. Mm -hmm. um, but I, I don't feel it too often. That's I, of good. course, do watch things that I don't get cast in, mm -hmm. and then you see, you know, a smaller, blonder, perhaps, version of yourself a lot of the time. Smaller, blonder, wider, a white, they exactly. do white, yeah, the white it girl. Goes, it's when you go in for, that. like, mm -hmm. ethnically ambiguous or mixed race, and yeah. then it ends up being a white girl. That's yeah. always interesting. It's That's actually in one of the scenes in my short. Um, oh, I'm glad you talked about that. It's very much the, oh, yeah, it goes a day in the life of a, a plus-size Asian girl. And wow. it's like this is these are all the things that I'm juggling and have going on, but the audition process is definitely one of them because you during the process we're good, but then seeing what happens after, mm -hmm. sometimes it's like, oh, that was an interesting choice. It's not my choice, and it's not really my, you know, I do the whole thing. I rip up my sides and I throw them, you know, away mm -hmm. right after I leave that room. Okay, I don't think about it because we can't. It. Yeah, right. you know, if yeah. you're lucky enough to get them, just leave it there right. in the room and don't so much worry about it after. I'm very much like that. Okay. But sometimes they get you because if you really want it and you're like, oh, I watched that show mm -hmm. or whatever it is, and then you see who gets it after, most of the time, amazing. Right. Some of the time, a little strange. Right, yeah. Mm. Where sometimes yeah. you're like, I do oh, have, I do have a question. Yeah. It doesn't have to do with TV or anything like that, yeah. but mm -hmm. it's about being a plus size in the Asian community. Sure. You know, because I know I, I have friends that are in the Asian community yeah. that are plus size and like, her, one of my friend's mother even just downs her constantly because she's plus size. Mm. And I feel like it's a little bit like, like, um, like some cultures, some, some ethnic, uh, or how do you say it? Ethnicities? Uh, yes, cultures, thank you. Same, yes. Yeah. The, it's okay. It's like, it's, uh, the, it's not looked down upon as much as I've seen it in the Asian community. Mm. I am a, um, it depends on which culture we're talking about. Mm -hmm. um, I am a half Asian and I, you know, I grew up in a small town, Midwest kind of situation. Mm -hmm. um, I don't often, like, I don't deal with a lot of racism, to be honest, and mm -hmm. I don't deal with a lot of race talk, um, unless, we're t unless I'm talking about it, but no one's, like, coming at me and being like, oh, like, interesting, you're Asian and you're this. Mm -hmm. I'm very much into, like, K-pop, K-dramas, like, yeah. Yeah, like yeah. Korean culture, because they're the biggest entertainment Right. Uh, industry in Asia, mm -hmm. and so I'm all about that. I don't really think about it. Um, I do know like a couple comedians that are like plus size Korean comedians on variety shows all over Korea, mm -hmm. and so that's a thing, right? And so you see yourself in mm -hmm. different ways, yeah, not in uh, romantic leads mm -hmm. and things like that. Yeah, so it's but definitely it's still there. Some, okay, the best film of the year and my favorite filmmaker, Korean, uh -huh. uh, it was Parasite. So Parasite, have I, you seen it? That boy, he was in a uh, other drama, like a zombie, a Korean zombie oh. drama that I watched, the lead guy in oh, it. okay. Yeah, so okay. I know of it. I haven't seen Parasite, but I know of him. Right, well, mm. there is, you know, there is, there's a couple of, it's a very small cast. Yeah. But mm. uh, t uh, two of the women in the cast, there's like three women. Yeah. Uh, they are plus size, mm -hmm. and they're both older, and mm -hmm. they both are kick-ass. They yeah. both are, actually, there's four. But anyway, the point is, is that they're not like a trope or, a, yeah, you know right. what I mean? And like, yeah. best film of the year, you guys. Yeah, it's so, a, yeah. 
a I parasite. will say the reason one one of the things I was I was asked reason why reason why I was asking I'm having a hard time today. <laughs> what uh, crazy rich Asian? Yeah, not a lead in there was plus size, and the only one that was a yeah. little bit plus size was the man, and he, he was a comic relief. Who? What man? Oh, he's um, in. Uh, I think he's in Fresh Off the Boat. Yeah. Right. No. 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 no but he's. He's uh, on. Um, no. He's on a uh, superstore. So, uh, superstore. Oh, I know. NBC yeah. Superstore. Wait, the brother. I believe so. Uh, Aquafina's like, brother. Yes. 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 So, who is, by the way, hysterical? Yes. Yeah. And Aquafina is hysterical. But too. also, <laughs> I mean, that is a very like that specific culture. Mm -hmm. You know, that's what goes on in their entertainment. Mm -hmm. And so, I don't really, I don't watch a lot of Chinese um, television movies or anything like that. But I, I totally see your point. That's why I was so in love with even the Aquafina of mm -hmm. it all, mm -hmm. just being different and a, such a hilarious comedian rapper. Like she's so cool. Right. She's the type of chick you want to be. Yes. So at least that was the div enough diversity for me to like not challenge things like that. But yeah, I mean, yeah. even though Gemma Chan is my queen, the queen <laughs> of the universe. For I guess for I mean, <laughs> I know you didn't ask me, but right. for, for me personally, yeah. I, because I'm I am the activist I am. I, I don't care what culture it is, what ethnicity, every show I'm in, I can't not hear a, a fat phobic joke or, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Like, it's it's across the board. I yeah. don't think anybody's getting a pass. You know what right. I mean? It's it's bad. I, like, I'll hear something and I'm even at the point where I'm like filming it, that little tiny tidbit of that scene right. where somebody's making a fat joke, you yeah. know? And it doesn't matter, color, race, whatever. I like, also think, you know. that's, sorry, I didn't mean to cut uh, you no, off, no, no, but no. I think it's interesting because I think that everyone is going to suffer from those jokes, yeah. no matter what size you are, because there's so much body shaming in general. So mm -hmm. no matter what we're shaming in the body, everybody's gonna feel bad. Right. So as far as I'm concerned, everybody just kind of needs to shut up mm -hmm. because that is the scary part is that, so there are a bunch of extremes, but we also have like a lot of eating disorders that mm -hmm. we're like perpetuating because mm -hmm. we do things like that. Right. And then like, uh, plus size people not being accepted for literally no reason at all. And no then, at all. yeah, and yeah. so there's everybody that gets affected by body. And so people are so narrow minded that everything's like slinging jokes. Mm -hmm. You're affecting everybody. Everybody. You're not right. just affecting the people that might look like that. And you're mm -hmm. like, oh, sh be quiet. Like she's over there. It's like, no, bro. Even, you know, the 115 pound girl over here was probably more affected than that than me. That, exactly. Right. Because I feel like we I have so much ourselves. like, don't give a crap about right, it. Right. Right. But like, to what are what's everybody else dealing with? So I feel like everybody everybody's affected by yeah. it. You know, and I remember the smaller I was, the more issues I had with my body. Because you're like the bigger I am, the more liberated I feel. Exactly, that liberator. I'm like, yes, I feel so good. <laughs> yeah, it yes. is. It, it's all different. You uh -huh. look, no matter what size you are, what you look like, you're gonna have there's stuff. Right, right. Lots of yeah. stuff. And people well, and that's what I tell people. You know, even the the girl you think is perfect, <clears throat> yeah, has an issue. Yeah. You know what I mean? And it's like, we got to get away from being negative to each other because that's really the main problem. It, yeah. And we and right now we have a society that that's what everybody wants to do. They want to pick at everybody's problems. Exactly. And throw it in their face instead mm -hmm. of going, hey, let's not do that. Let's just like work together. Be cool. Let's be, you know, mm -hmm. not like, cause that's why I can't even watch news anymore. Sure. It's like, if, even if it's my side, I'm like, all they're doing is yelling, yelling, yeah. yelling, you know, mm -hmm. and picking on that person and saying this person's this and this yeah, person's and that. And people are so that or so right. that or like so, that, or like. The, can the cancel culture right. mentality. Yeah. yeah. I cancel things, but only the bad ones, you know? <laughs> but, <laughs> are, guys, I hate to do this. No. no. I see hate you do this, Katie. I do this. You always do this. But I want to give Trina enough time to tell our beautiful audience. Yes. You know how can everybody find you? Oh, oh, yes. and add when we can see your show. Exactly. My show. The stand out. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I was like the show that we did. Did I book a show? <laughs> <laughs> um, follow me on social media. Hey, hey Trina Dong. Uh, yes, hey Trina Dong. I changed it the other day. Anyway, cool. Uh, hey Trina Dong. <laughs> if you follow me there, you will be able to see when Standout hopefully is hitting the festival circuit. Um, it's about, like I said, kind of a day in the life of a plus size comedian actress girl with um, an autoimmune disease, just trying to navigate life and figuring it out. Mm -hmm. um, it's really funny, really fun. Yeah. Love awesome. It. There we go. Guys. Thank you for joining us. Yes. Remember, you can catch us at Fat TV World on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, YouTube, and our website, Fat TV World. And don't forget to check out Fat TV. No, she's, she's too, too fat. fat. I know. I 
know. Sorry, I, ADHD. I was looking at that camera. Okay, and I guess it's all right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Guys, there's a lot going on here behind the scenes. Bye. Yes, bye, everybody.